Hello YouTube, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope your weekend went well. It was a hot, hot, hot one here, but you're probably going to hear me saying that and for the, probably the next four months. So I need to stop kind of repeating myself, but uh, no worries. I actually went and saw some uh, family of mine this weekend, a couple, uh, one of my first cousins that lives about oh, 45 minutes, an hour away. And uh, yeah, it was just real connect good to connect with some family. But anyhow, today I want to talk about the importance of hydration on a raw food diet. Guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, go down there and hit that subscribe button now. Then click on that little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Yeah, this is a super hot summer, so I think I have usually do something about hydration every year just to kind of refresh it and uh, bring up the importance of it. And also, too, importance of hydration on a raw food diet. The key words, just throwing in raw food diet. Everybody needs to be hydrated. I just know I get more people's interests catch more views with saying for the raw food diet, but everybody and including people on a raw food diet need to pay attention to that hydration and this summer even more so than ever. And there's lots of little fun facts. I've, I've been real and listen, before I even get started, I'm not trying to tell you I'm some expert on hydration or I'm even disciplined enough to I'm always hydrated like I should be. But I've been very keenly aware of hydration for the last four or five years. And since I became really focused on the hydration aspect of it, um, I noticed little changes and I've noticed little subtleties about my body. Like I say, that's all this channel's about. I'm not some big expert or Mr. Science or can sit and go, well, because of this process in your body, this, this, and this. I am the science experiment. You know, it probably helps that I live by myself and, um, you know, I have a lot of time <laughs> to think about things, but I'm always like, being very observant of everything I put in my body and how it affects me and when something's different or when something works a little differently I just notice that but um so we need to be hydrated year-round the one thing is it I just find it takes uh, it takes a good bit more in the summertime I can just kind of cruise through the winter now I've noticed especially since we've had an early summer and your your mileage may you're gonna just have to experiment on how much you need to drink but even people that think they're doing well they're generally not getting as much hydration as they really actually need during the day. A couple of things. If you're outside doing stuff, whether you're playing sports, whether you're working outside, just walking outside, at the beach, whatever, by the time you're like really thirsty, like you're like, oh my God, I gotta find, I gotta find something to drink, you're probably already dehydrated. Um, these days, I can, I've can i noticed, too, just in the last three weeks, uh, as, as the weather's just really intensified, um, in summers past, well, one thing, too, let me take a step back. I like to hydrate big in the morning and then kind of cruise through the day. It's just like it, it saturates into the cells. Now, in summers past, I did it all with, I did it a lot with watermelon juice. In fact, um, there was a couple of summers there where I probably sat around, I'd drink like, three quarters or a gallon of watermelon juice and then I wouldn't even touch anything the rest of the day. Thing about that when I drank so much watermelon juice uh, in the morning it delayed me eating it, it killed my appetite and then I would just lose weight. So now what I generally do is I drink two of those jars 64 ounces of watermelon juice first thing in the morning and then I keep another mason jar of water. I usually put it in the refrigerator overnight then after I finish my watermelon juice, I put it on the counter, put my straw in it, and I sip that. So I've been getting about, I've been slacking a little bit. There have been a lot of days where I've really only gotten about two and a half of those. And two and a half is not enough because I walk a good bit around here. Like I'll go, I'll take a break, I'll go down to the park. I don't take a long walk at one time, but I like, I'll go down to the park several times during the day and, you know, I don't know, take. 1,500, 2,000 steps, a couple of laps around uh, that little park, and then come home and then do it over and over. Another thing too, you can't just rely on food. A lot of raw vegans are like, oh, well, yeah, I just, I eat my hydration. And I like being able to eat your hydration, and that definitely helps. And I believe there's actually a deeper, it, does, it hydrates your body even on a deeper level by eating. But I found you can't, I don't, I don't think anybody can really just depend on their food to fully hydrate them. Well, now, right now, I haven't been to Pensacola in a while, so I'm not getting a lot of um, 
I'm not getting any mangoes. I need to get some more peaches, but I'm still a lot of bananas. I'm having my watermelon juice in the morning. You know, I have my salads every day. They're very hydrating, but um, no, I, I kind of think of the food as bonus and I make sure that I get my hydration in there. And I can just feel it when it's not working. Little th little subtleties you might notice that you, that back before I really started looking into this, I wasn't aware of. I just was like, it was just like a mystery. Like, do you ever get some little strange headache like up during the day and it's not that bad or sometimes it is and you're just like, I can't figure where that came from. And a lot of times you'll find that is hydration. And I've, I've even done that a couple of times in the past, like when I was really kind of in the beginning stages of starting to learn more about this hydration stuff. And I've actually done it, you know, had, had like a, just that little tinge of a headache, uh, drank like 32 ounces of water or more, and it just kind of dissipated a little bit. So, you know, there, you, those are those things, things like that. A lot of times if you're really thirsty, it'll, it'll mimic it. Like a lot of times when you think you're hungry, you're really just thirsty. And when you're, when you're not hydrated, you tend to eat, eat more and eat when you're not even really that hungry. So there's, there's that. Um, what else? And even low energy. Sometimes I've even been able to trace like, okay, why am I so low energy today? Kind of all goes back to hydration. So the hydration is really key. Your body is just not functioning right if it doesn't have a certain level in there. Now, something else, talking about that, I highly encourage you to do some of these things. Don't just say, well, this is how it is, and don't, don't, don't just agree with me 100%, and don't reject what I'm telling you. Try it yourself, and try some of these methods, too. Try really hydrating hard first thing in the morning, not just the little one glass of the holy lemon water <laughs> that we've heard nonstop about, but actually get drink 64 ounces right off the bat like I'm doing and then get yourself a, fill yourself or you know whether it's watermelon juice water whatever and then on that third one that third 32 ounce jar just sip on that sip on that water and usually if you, usually if you have three is what is that three liters yeah three liters of um, hydration water watermelon juice in yourself by noon you can cruise through most of the day um, now, like I say, this is an extra hot summer. I'm walking a good bit. I'm in and out a lot. I sweat a good bit. So I'm really going to start shooting for more like four. And you can kind of check yourself too. You can check, you know, you, you, and another sign that you're, well, the obvious sign, almost everybody knows this one. If you're, if you're lacking hydration, if you're a little bit dehydrated or pre-dehydrated, just look at your urine when you go to the bathroom. You know, what is your urine looking like? And it doesn't necessarily, that, I think that's kind of a myth, stereo, like generalization, old wives tale. It doesn't need to be necessarily be completely clear and you don't have to flood yourself. Some people drink so much that they're actually just kind of probably flushing a lot of the vitamins and minerals out of their system. It's just, in other words, just find that sweet spot for yourself. But also, too, don't let me scare you with that. It, it, it's a lot easier to be underhydrated. You're, you have a very hard time overhydrating yourself unless you just go absolutely crazy. And another one, and this isn't going to be a very long video today, but another one, too, is I noticed a couple of weeks ago, I think this was during the time when I was dealing with my mom and all that, um, I was eat I was still I wasn't eat I haven't been listen for the last two or three weeks I've probably been missing a little food here and there because I've just been doing a lot dealing with a lot had a lot that I need to get done but during that particular time I was eating well I mean I don't eat I don't eat my feelings and do all that kind of stuff I just tend to not get all my meals in so I'm eating fine I had a couple of salads I was having smoothies I was having fruit and my digestion, my elimination was fine, but it wasn't quite as good because I didn't have that full hydration. I went back to hydrating like I normally do for two or three or four days. Wasn't eating any differently, but I just noticed, you know, things. It's just like that hydration just makes the system run, you know. It's kind of like oil in a car. Your body won't, your body won't run without the hydration. Your car won't run without the oil. So... Yeah, that's just something um, you, you just got to pay attention to during the summer. And if you'll get ahead of it, what, like I say, once you're thirsty, once you're already a little lightheaded, once you're already getting a little bit of a headache, yeah, 
you still want to drink then if it gets to that point you know you get some relief and start getting some hydration back in you but you can head all that off just by doing it day after day after day and i'll finish with this as well as hydrating big in the morning and then just cruising through the day like i say if, if you you'll forget throughout you get doing stuff throughout the day if you just hydrate and then you sip on a little bit throughout the day you're good and one last little thing one last little trick that you really need to do to really understand how this works you need to be fully hydrated for a period of time if you just dabble for a while you know i don't i believe there's a cumulative effect to staying hydrated all the time and i've felt it in summers past and i'm about to get on that for the next month and see how much different that feels and that is being fully hydrated every day when you're fully hydrated every day you'll notice a different after a week after two weeks and after a month of doing that every day i guarantee you you're going to feel a big difference but bottom line even if you don't feel anything uh, miraculous or earth shattering you got to have that hydration to run your body and you got to really be careful in this weather and you know I'm just talking about general day-to-day -day situations, but if you're playing sports outside or doing a very strenuous job outside, this is very important stuff. You know, you pass out or you do what, uh, whatever. Uh, so uh, stay hydrated, stay hydrated. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you here midweek. Peace.